So some new information now. Perjury charge has been dismissed for a man who has a connection to the Caitlin Markham murder case. Jonathan Palmerton was indicted a couple months ago after he allegedly lied about something concerning the Caitlin Markham murder investigation that began when she went missing back in 2011 and her remains were then found in 2013. While her fiance John Carter is getting ready for trial, Palmerton's charge has been dismissed. Ken Brown was in the courtroom today and is live in Hamilton now with more on the prosecutor's request. Ken. Yeah, that's right, guys. And what it's called is it's called a nolly. And basically what it does, it dismisses the charge for now, but it gives the prosecution the opportunity to uh, go for that charge again after Carter's trial would have reached its conclusion. And our legal expert says it's a strategic play by the prosecutor. Jonathan Palmerton, a man that ran in the same circles as John Carter and Caitlin Markham, has been an interesting puzzle piece in Markham's disappearance and death after he was accused of lying about some aspects of the case. In the Carter case, Mr. Palmerton is listed as a witness potentially for trial in the Carter case. Butler County Prosecutor Mike Mosier says Palmerton's possible testimony in his own case could present a conflict with any possible testimony he could offer in Carter's murder case. And our legal expert says he agrees. It's a situation where if you dismiss it, you can always refile it. The prosecutor doesn't want him to go first, and I understand that. The technical term is nolly. The prosecutor described it as a temporary dismissal and noted the intent to refile at a later date. We asked Mike Allen if this gives Palmerton any power to cut a deal with the state who may want him to take the stand in Carter's case. It does. It also gives the prosecutor the power too to still have it dangling over his head. It was probably dismissed because of speedy trial concerns. There are certain amounts of time within which a prosecutor can bring charges and if an indictment is nollied or dismissed that stops that time yeah and that time that we're talking about here the prosecutor talked about it in court he said it was 270 days i believe well 60 of those days have been chewed up so when the clock starts again after the nolly is up and the charge may be refiled he's got about 210 days to get it to trial reporting in hamilton ken brown fox 19 now